Good morning, it's Al again, and I wanted to do a uh, quick review on something that I just picked up this week in Waco uh, while I was traveling around, and uh, uh, it had a really good price. I got this for $20.99. It's used at a, at a pawn shop in Waco, and it's a uh, uh, new model Blackhawk, a uh, ruler Blackhawk, in 357 Magnum, and it's in really good shape. It's got decent grips to it. Uh, it's not scratched up much. There are a couple of you know, blemishes here, uh, just a couple of nicks, but that's about it. Uh, otherwise, it's in really, uh, really good shape, as you can see. Uh, I used to have a, a new model Blackhawk like this, uh, several, uh, well, not several, but many years ago. Probably it's been about 20 years since I had one. And uh, I love that thing. They're just really beefy handguns. Uh, you know, they're, you, could, you could feel the heft on those things. And they are extremely accurate. One of the things that I like about it is that, uh, you know, this is a, a gun that will last you a lifetime that you can pass on to your kids generation after generation. These things are just not going to wear out on you. Uh, they are that good. Uh, it is single action revolver, so you have to pull the trigger back and then squeeze the trigger. And it does have a transfer bar system here. So if you're not holding the trigger back when the hammer drops, the firing pin is not going to protrude and engage the primer on the live round in front of it so it's quite safe. It does have a loading gate that you open up and you load the rounds one at a time in typical single action revolver style. Uh, once you're done loading, you close it up, you're ready to shoot, pull back the hammer, pull the trigger, let it go, and uh, the rounds will go off. Once you're done with it, you open it up again open up the loading gate and then you run the cylinder and push back on this bar that you can see here and eject the spin cases. Ruger Blackhawks have been made for I'm not sure how long, probably 70 years or so maybe. Uh, they've been around for a long time and uh, they have an impeccable reputation for quality, accuracy, and ruggedness. Uh, so it is, uh, it is a preferred, I think, single action revolver to have. Uh, a lot of the cowboy shooters today, uh, most of them are, sh are shooting the uh, Ruger Vaquero, which is essentially the same handgun uh, in 45 Colt and without adjustable sights. The one thing I do like about this is that it does have adjustable sights. So, uh, I had one at one time, a Super Blackhawk. That was in 44 Magnum, and that had a scope mount because they used it for hunting. And uh, man, they are uh, just unbelievable uh, handguns in so far as reliability and accuracy. And uh, they have an excellent trigger pull. It is just a, a fantastic, fantastic handgun uh, to own. So if you're li really looking for a good handgun in uh, 357 Magnum that you want to. Uh, that you want to own, this is, I think, one of the best ones to go for. And here's a close-up look. As you can see, it has adjustable sights in the rear. There's a profile on the barrel. This is a six and a half inch model. It has a pretty wide uh, front uh, ramp and. Uh, you know, it is not uncommon for people to come to this front ramp and just put a dab of white paint right here, or red paint or yellow paint, to make it more visible, and it'll give you a, a much better contrast in your shooting sight, your shooting uh, uh, sight here. So you can see, it, I guess, silhouetted against a white background. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like there. Let me see if I can get it here. That's your sight picture right there. And 
the grips in it are walnut wood with a Ruger design on it, Ruger logo as you can see. It does have fairly decent wood. The finish is in really good shape for being a used uh, handgun that you find at a pawn shop. But uh, you know you can still find great deals. If you look at Gun Broker and you look for used Ruger Blackhawks and 357 Magnums, they're all going to be $450 or more. And I paid $399 for this. So you can still find decent deals, uh, especially if you haggle with them. So anyways, that's the uh, that's the review of the handgun. Um, Hi, it's me again. So I want to do uh, a quick shooting review of the uh, uh, Ruger uh, new model Blackhawk in 357 Magnum that I uh, just acquired a few days ago. And uh, let you take a look and see how it uh, how it works. So uh, I put some uh, 38 Special Plus P rounds in it rather than 357 Magnum loads. And we're going to be shooting at that target uh, down there, okay? And that's it. So, as you can see, it shoots well. It's an accurate handgun. Uh, the trigger pull is just extremely sweet on this handgun here. Uh, you certainly could do a lot worse than getting a Ruger handgun. Uh, if you're going to spend the money on a single action gun, uh, buy a Ruger. Do yourself a favor. Don't buy a Uberti or anything like that. I know those are fairly popular and you can see them in every gun store. Uh, they're made in Italy and, I'm, and they're okay, but they're not nearly as good as a Ruger. Ruger is the way to go. Uh, I got a friend that has a Uberti uh, in 45 Colt, and it's okay and it shoots all right, uh, but it just it's just not as well built as this. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the the weight, the balance on it. Uh, this is, I think, by far uh, a better choice. Uh, whether you get a Vaquero or you get a Blackhawk, uh, you can't go wrong with Ruger, and it's American-made. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless you. Thanks for watching.